up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here again with my brand new project, Marty Music. Thank you so much for subscribing right here, checking out martymusic.com. Got tons of great new content coming your way. And in this video, it's another Thursday gear video. So I've been covering guitars, pedals, anything gear related. In fact, let me know the gear that you'd like to see me cover. And you've already been doing that, but leave in the comments below other gear, guitars, anything that you can think of that's related to this world that we're in, um, let me know. Today's Thursday Gear video, we're talking about compressors, a compressor pedal. And specifically, the pedal I'm using is the Keeley Compressor, one of the more famous uh, guitar compressors. I've gotten questions from you guys out there, uh, whether it's on my official Facebook page or right here at Marty Music, uh, asking about compressors. What are they? or which one do you use, or do you use one at all? And I would say I use, I have a, I have this Keeley compressor, and I use it, uh, sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. It just depends, uh, it depends on the mood I'm in, but I will tell you that I specifically use it more on single coil uh, pickup guitars, like my Telecaster and my Stratocasters, my Fender guitars. I tend to use compressors more on that. Humbucker guitars with overdrive tend to have more natural compression than a single coil guitar. And there's a lot of you out there that don't, that you guys have no idea what that means. Think about it this way. And then obviously I'm gonna play so you guys can hear it. I like it where, where, where it's very subtle. But think of compression like this, and this isn't just for guitar, this is just for audio signals in general. Let's, let's point up here, right? Oops, no. I'm out of the screen. Up here is the loudest that our signal can get. The loudest that we've got, right? However I have it set up. Here's the loudest. And then down here, right here, is the quietest that my signal will get. All the way up, da, 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 right? So you got the loudest, you got the quietest. When you add compression, what happens is there's a thing kind of called a, you call it a squash. It brings these things closer together. It brings your quietest a little bit louder and your loudest a little bit quieter. And depending on how much compression you use, you really start to hear what's called the squash. And it really, actually, eventually, if you have too much compression, you, uh, you can really hear it and it's not necessarily pleasant.
Anyway, messed around with it. Uh, hopefully you could hear some, some differences. It's definitely something that feels different when you're using it, even more so than, than what you're hearing. And it is a good feeling, uh, especially, you know, cranking it to stage volume, which I don't really have right here, but cranking it all the way and you get a little compression on there. Those notes just sing out. So we like it. We like it a lot. Uh, another thing I wanted to add is that I put... There's different theories on this, but basically I put the compressor first in the chain of effects. So I'm compressing the clean signal, which evens out a clean signal, then that goes into my overdrive pedal. Now you're gonna get a completely different sound if you have overdrive first and then you're compressing that overdriven sound. Uh, more often, more players use compression first than later, but it's fun to experiment with that as well. For me, I always have it first in the chain um, because I like the compress the clean signal then go have that go into 
the effects. So anyway, that was the Keeley compressor. I recommend you uh, trying one out, messing around with it. Uh, it's not for everybody, but compression is a huge part of uh, audio recording, production. It's used on everything, especially in the studio. So it's something to at least be familiar with. Is it the first pedal I recommend you get? No, not at all. Uh, I've gigged for many years without one. And then sometimes when I'm getting into uh, clean tones and playing my Telecaster a lot, ooh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get the compressor out and, and uh, play around with that a little bit. So anyway, I hope that was informative. Remember, every Thursday is another gear video right here at Marty Music. Thanks again for the support, and we'll see you in another gear video next week. See you later.